Well, we've all seen the movie Matrix and then you start thinking, computer games are getting so realistic that maybe these avatars are real. They need to do it a little more. Let's say that the person who presses the play button when starting this video game has a dream, and we are that dream. Thus, cosmic consciousness determines the existence of reality itself. What is outside our universe? This question has been pondered by many who have come before us and probably by many who will come after us. It is so large that scientists have not yet been able to measure the entire diameter of the observable universe, and that does not even include the unobservable part. We must note that the ancient philosophers got some of these things right. Materialism, the idea that we are just atoms and that is all we are, is limited. The observable universe refers to the part of the universe that we can observe and study with telescopes and other instruments. It is limited by the fact that light, the primary method of gathering information about the universe, can only travel at a finite speed. This means that we can only observe objects and events that are a certain distance away from us, and we cannot directly observe objects or events that are too far away or that happened too long ago. The observed universe is estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter, much larger than the estimated size of the entire universe, which is thought to be about 13.8 billion years old. This is because the expansion of the universe caused objects that were once close to each other to move further apart, and the light from those objects took longer to reach us. All in all, the observable universe is a big and fascinating place, and we still don't know much about it. However, Using telescopes such as NASA's James Webb Telescope and other scientific instruments, we are constantly learning more about the structure, composition, and history of the universe and its various phenomena. What is beyond the observable universe? What can be found at the edge of the observable universe? If the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, how can it be 93 billion light years across? Why do we know so little about what lies beyond the universe? To reach the edge of the observable universe, we must develop some method of transportation that would allow us to cross space-time itself using the warp force or wormholes, long discussed by scientists who believe that they are simply impossible or travel faster than the speed of light itself. Whether or not both of these are possible is highly debatable, and even if possible, it would require technology and machines beyond the reach of current human intelligence. According to the theory of cosmic inflation, the size of the entire universe is at least 10 to the power of 23 times larger than the observable universe. This is so big that it is simply incomprehensible to people. Since we cannot see or measure the unobservable part of the universe, we have no way of knowing what lies beyond its boundaries. But that doesn't mean we can't formulate theories based on data from distant galaxies, and NASA has a big role to play in that. What did NASA find? NASA along with other space agencies and research institutions around the world, has made many important contributions to our understanding of the universe over the years. Before the James Webb Telescope went into operation this year, NASA had already released images of the ultra-deep field using Hubble, the telescope used before James Webb released new images of the universe. When the James Webb Telescope first appeared, it was used to look at the most distant galaxy ever seen. The images showed many glowing galaxies in distant space, appearing just as they did a few million years after the Big Bang, nearly 13.8 billion years ago. The expansion of space allows light to be extended to redder wavelengths, and this allows the James Webb Telescope to detect infrared light, revealing galaxies that formed very early in the history of the universe. A.S. The James Webb Telescope observed many distant galactic fields. Scientists began to study the rate of star formation in the early universe. This study concluded that 44 previously unknown galaxies dating back up to 300 million years after the Big Bang have just entered the picture, not including 11 previously known galaxies. This knowledge showed that a significant population of galaxies formed stars in the early universe. This is where it gets really scary. People have long wondered if we are alone in this universe, and these new observations in the observable universe have led us to believe that there must be millions of galaxies in the unobservable part of the universe. Are there foreigners? The possibility of life in the universe beyond Earth has never been more compelling. The question of what is behind the universe can have a very simple answer. Aliens. There are many planets outside our solar system, known as exoplanets, that have been discovered using techniques such as the transit method and the radial velocity method. Some of these exoplanets may be similar to Earth and could potentially support life. 
Another James Webb telescope discovery, the exoplanet WASP 96b, also supported this theory. It is a planet outside our solar system that has a light spectrum. You wouldn't believe this part. The peaks in the spectrum revealed the presence of water molecules on this planet. In addition, the spectrum also showed signs of fog and clouds not previously known to exist on this planet. With such habitable environments in the universe, it is difficult to rule out the existence of aliens beyond the reach of our planet. What about the multiverse? Because the observable universe is so vast, its possibilities are endless. The multiverse, also known as the many worlds interpretation, is a theoretical idea in physics and philosophy that suggests the existence of multiple parallel universes or dimensions beyond our own. The multiverse is often discussed in the context of quantum physics, which is the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of small particles such as atoms and subatomic particles. According to some interpretations of quantum mechanics, an observation can cause a quantum system to collapse into a single state, but in the many worlds interpretation, an observation simply causes the system to split into multiple states, each representing a different state. Score the idea of a multiverse is still very speculative and not yet supported by conclusive evidence, so it's hard to say for sure if it's a valid concept or not. Some scientists and philosophers find the idea of a multiverse fascinating and potentially useful in explaining certain phenomena, while others are skeptical of its validity. But since we don't know what's outside the universe, the possibility of a multiverse still applies like Schrodinger's cat is there a dark current outside the universe? This question is quite complicated. The dark stream is a phenomenon first proposed in 2008 as a possible explanation for the observation that certain clusters of galaxies seem to move faster than expected due to the desired distribution of matter in the universe. The concept of dark current suggests that these clusters of galaxies may be influenced by some invisible or dark matter or energy that pulls them in a certain direction. However, the existence of dark current is still somewhat controversial and not yet widely accepted in the scientific community. Some studies have suggested that the dark stream may be real and may be caused by a large massive structure in the universe that pulls these clusters of galaxies towards it. Other studies have not confirmed the existence of a dark stream and have suggested that the observed motion of galaxy clusters may be due to other factors, such as measurement errors. As for its existence, dark current may exist outside the observable universe, i.s. the unobservable universe a black hole. The scary phenomenon of black holes. A black hole is a region of space where the gravitational force is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Black holes can form when a star collapses at the end of its life and can range in size from a few solar masses to millions or billions of solar masses. The probability that there is a black hole in the non-observable universe is difficult to determine because the term non-observable universe refers to parts of the universe beyond the limits of our current ability to observe. Although there are probably many black holes in the entire universe, it is currently not possible to say with certainty whether or not there are black holes in the unobserved universe, or to estimate their number or properties. It is possible that they may already be in a space known as the unobservable universe. Does dark matter exist? Dark matter is a hypothetical form of matter that makes up approximately 85% of the matter in the universe. Why is it called blind? Dark matter is called dark matter because it does not interact with light in the same way as ordinary matter, and is therefore difficult to observe directly with telescopes or other instruments that rely on light detection. However, the existence of dark matter is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter and the way it bends light from distant objects. Although the existence of dark matter is widely accepted in the scientific community, it is still not fully understood and its nature remains a mystery. It is not known what dark matter is made of or how it behaves. There are various theories about its possible properties. Some scientists believe that dark matter may consist of particles that have not been detected. After all, this is another puzzle that can be solved if we look beyond the boundaries of the observable universe. Finally, NAS Ahas detected other objects in our observable universe. The James Webb Telescope was able to image the Cartwheel Galaxy which has always been a mystery to astronomers due to the appearance of a cartwheel galaxy and the fact that it has changed so much since the collision with its companion galaxy. In addition, scientists saw for the first time in their true colors the southern ring nebula and its two stars, which were previously indistinguishable from each other.
Spectra of exoplanets were seen in great detail. Scientists began to study the rate of star formation in the early universe. With each new discovery, the limits of our knowledge expand a little more and we get a little closer to understanding what lies beyond the universe.